why does sometimes God says no to our prayers? So in today's episode, we're going to see three reasons why God sometimes says no when we're asking him for something. So join me in this episode as we discover those three reasons. So welcome to the Faith Race Podcast with Frank. My name is Frank and in today's episode, we are talking about three reasons why God says no sometimes. You know, in this life, it's very beautiful when we are asking for something and we get it. You know, since we're little kids, you go to your dad, to your mom, you're asking for something and then they give it to you. And sometimes in prayer, you're asking God for something and God gives you the exact thing that you're asking for. You know, it fills your heart with so much joy, so much happiness, fulfillment that God gave me what I asked for. In fact, himself says in his word that ask and it shall be given unto you. You know, so it's so good when we're asking God for some things and his answer is yes. But there are moments sometimes when we ask God for something and the answer is no, a straight no. Or maybe God is not even answering what we're asking for. Or maybe it's just taking too long, too long, too long, too long. Why? Is it that God doesn't like to give us good things? No, far from that. I actually read a quote today that really blessed me. The person says, The real miracle of faith is not in seeing what we be- we are believing for taking place. But the real miracle of faith is when we did not see what we were believing for, but we still believe in the goodness of God. He says, the real miracle of faith is when you were asking God maybe for something, God didn't do it, or you didn't receive what you were asking for, but still you believe in God's goodness at that moment. He said, that is the real miracle of faith. Because sometimes God says no. And what I believe is that sometimes God's best expression of love is him saying no. I love what Pastor Joseph Prince said one day. He says, God is even ready to disappoint you now with a no, if that no will bless you in the future. God is even ready to disappoint you now by saying no to what you are asking for, if that no is going to be a blessing for you in the future. You know, when you receive a no from God, when you receive a no from God, you have to understand one important thing. Never question the love of God when his answer is no. Never question the love of God when it seems as if God is taking too long. It's very beautiful when we are asking God for something and we're receiving it. It's it's easy for your faith to be strong at that point. Because everything you're asking for, you're getting it. But the real test of faith to believe in God's goodness is when you're even asking for something that is very important in your heart. And God seems not to care. But you still say, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. That is the real miracle of faith. But then, there's another thing. is that sometimes it's not that God says no to our prayer point or our request. But it's just that we did not obey God's instructions when he told us to do something. Sometimes when you seem not to receive what you were asking God for, go back to what God told you. Sometimes the answer to your prayers is in what God told you in the past. You are not obeying the instructions, therefore you are not receiving what God is asking you, is, is what you're asking God to do in your life. This was just a bracket. But in today's episode, I want to talk quickly about three, what I believe are three important reasons, biblically speaking, that sometimes God says no to our prayers. So the first point, the first reason why sometimes God says no, it's simply because the things that we are asking him for are not in his plan for for our lives. We are asking him for things that are outside of his will, outside of his plan, outside of the destiny that he has for us. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Bible says that, I know the plans that I have for you, 
I know. In fact, I think it's in the Good News Translation or CEV where the Bible says, I alone knows the plans that I have for you. God has a specific plan for your life. He has a specific plan. He designed you specifically and he has a specific destiny for you. And sometimes you are asking him for something that is outside of his will for your life. That's why you're not receiving it. And as I said in the beginning, sometimes the best expression of God's love for our lives is him saying no to our prayers. Because sometimes we are asking him for something that will not even really fulfill us. Let me give you an example. Just imagine God called you to be in the political area or sphere. God called you maybe to have an influence, politically speaking. Maybe you're going to be a very big person in the you know, political um, area. But then you are praying God to make you successful in your music career. Just imagine, you say, oh, I just want to sing. I just want to go and sing. But God is seeing you as a politician and he wants to shape you according to the future that he has for you. He says he believes that God knows that you're going to have a much bigger impact for his kingdom in the political area than in the music industry. Therefore, he's actually, you're asking, actually asking him to bless your music area, your music career, and you're not seeing any improvement. You're not seeing any growth just because what you're asking God to do in your life is outside of his plan. And sometimes things are like this. We are asking God things that are outside of his will for our lives. The Bible says that if what we are asking God for is in his will, we believe that he hears us. And if he hears us, we believe that we will have the things that we are asking him for. If what we are asking for is in his will. But sometimes we are asking for things that are outside of his will for our lives. And that's why sometimes his answer is no. His answer is no. Sometimes the best thing that God can do for you is saying no for what you're asking for. And in the future, you will think about it. You'll be like, God, thank you for saying no to that prayer that I asked for. Sometimes the best expression of his love is refusing to give you what you're asking for. You have to understand that. So this is one of the first reasons why God says no to our prayers. Very important to understand. Very important, extremely important to understand. But then there's a, there's a second reason why God says no, and it's very close to the first one, but there's a slight difference that I'm going to explain. The second reason why God says no sometimes to our prayer point is simply because he has something better for us. The Bible says that his ways in Isaiah, his ways are higher than our ways. Sometimes you are, maybe yes, you are into what God has called you to do. And you're asking him to give you something, but he's telling you, mm -mm, I have something better for you. God knows what is best for you. Sometimes the things that you're asking him for are very good things, but they are not the best that he has for you. You are asking for something. God is looking, yeah, I can give him this. He will be happy for quite, a, some, quite some time. But it's really not going to fulfill him at the level where I want him to be fulfilled. And sometimes God says no because what he has for us is better. Let, 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 let's take the same example that we take for political area. Maybe you know that, yes, God called me to be a politician, to have an impact in the political sphere and stuff like that. But then you're asking God, God, bless me for the upcoming elections. I want to be the mayor of this city, you know. I want to start with these humble beginnings. Maybe God is seeing you directly as a governor. Maybe for that period, he says no for you to become a mayor. You're not going to be a mayor. But then he sees you directly as a governor. And maybe after becoming a governor, you become a, a head of state or something like that. Just to show that maybe, yes, you are into God's will for you. But what you're asking God for, God is like, hmm, does he know what I have for him? The Bible says his ways are higher than our ways. God knows what's best for us. And you know, the thing is, sometimes we only know what we want, but God knows what we need. 
Sometimes we only know what we want, what we desire. God, I want this. God, I want that. But God knows what we need. God knows what is going to satisfy our souls. God knows what is going to satisfy your soul. Maybe that thing that you have been asking God for. Maybe if the first thing, maybe it's not in his will for you. Maybe that person you've been asking God to be with, it's not the person that God has for you. Maybe that thing is not for you. It's not for you. You have to understand, to learn to surrender things to God and just to let go. And to say, Lord, I accept your will. And I repeat this again. Sometimes the best expression of God's love for our lives is him saying no to our prayer points. Sometimes that is the best expression of his love. You know, sometimes when God says no, it's actually him saying, I love you. In fact, his no is not a rejection. His no is a redirection. When God says no, it's not a rejection out of his love. No, sometimes it's just redirecting you into his will. And you've got to understand this. You've got to understand this. And now the third reasons, the third, third reason, sorry, why, why God says no sometimes. It's simply because it's not the right time. Sometimes, yes, what you're asking God for, it is in his will. Sometimes, yes, what you're asking for, God for, it is the best thing that he has for you. But the problem is, it's not the right time. In Ecclesiastes, the Bible says that there is a time for everything under heaven. And in Isaiah 60, 22, the Bible says that at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Listen to this. He said, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Meaning there is a right time for every blessing of God in your life. There is a right time. Sometimes instead of getting mad at God, hey, God, hey, I've been praying, hey, you and me, it's over. I don't want anything. No, 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 no. Sometimes you're just asking and it's not the right time. Don't give up serving God. Don't stop serving him. Sometimes it's simply not the right time for the things that you're asking God for. Instead of crying, instead of lamenting and saying, I won't serve God, I won't do this, I won't do that. No, it's just not the right time. He knows what's the right time, what the right time is. And listen to me, a blessing that is received at the wrong time can become a curse. That's why sometimes God doesn't just, doesn't want to give you what you're asking God, Him for. Because sometimes a blessing, not even sometimes, a blessing that is received at the wrong time can become a curse. So God sometimes is not giving you the things that you're asking him for simply because it's not the right time. He knows that, yes, he can bless you with this, but if he, if he blesses you with this now, it's going to destroy you. So sometimes he wants you to grow or he wants to develop in you the, the character that will sustain the blessing that is coming. So stop crying. Stop losing faith. God knows what's best for you. God knows the destiny that he has for you. And God knows the right time to bless you with what he has in store for you. Just wait on the Lord. Just keep on, on trusting him. And remember, sometimes the best expression of God's love is him saying no. And remember also that his no is not a rejection out of his love, but his no is a redirection into his will. He is redirecting you into his will. He is not rejecting you out of his love. So that's why sometimes God says no. So if you are in a season right now when God is saying no to what you are asking him for, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Stop crying. Go on your knees. You remember our first episode, The Power of Gratitude. Thank Him. Thank Him and tell Him, God, I know you have a good plan for my life. And God, I know you know what's best for me. And God, I know that you will give me what's best for me at the right time. 
at the right time. Isaiah 60.22 At the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Wipe out your tears. Your blessing is on the way. And your daddy God loves you so much. Loves you so much. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. This was so exciting. You know, I feel the anointing of God. <laughs> this was so exciting and um, I love this. And thank you so much for joining in this episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, leave a comment. And don't forget to share this to someone who is going through a difficult situation and remind him that God loves you even if he says no. I love you so much, guys. And I'm going to see you again next time for a new episode. But until then, take care of yourself. God bless you. May God bless you. May God smile on you. May God favor you in everything that you're doing. And I love you so, so much. Keep on believing in God and keep on trusting him. Bye-bye and see you next time.